What were your immediate thoughts when Nick resigned with the team, and how's that relationship been between the two? Oh, that's great. That's great. We want Clax back. Uh, you know, I think us on the court together, we can, we've can. we shown that we can do a little bit, and I think we can improve on that, obviously, and we can be really good together. So I was excited to see him sign. Following up on that, what were, you, what were your reactions when you heard about the Mikhail deal? Um, so I was actually playing pool with my family. Uh, we was playing eight ball and ping pong. And then I seen the trade on my phone, and it was like, you know, my initial thought is, oh, like, you know, it shocked me because I didn't, obviously, I'm not in the front office. I don't know what's going on. I'm just working on my craft. But it was, you know, I feel like he should, Mikel should almost feel proud in a sense, you know, to get traded for five first round picks is superstar level type things. But on the contrary, like, you know, it's an opportunity for me. So I can't, like, no shade to him. Like, that's my dog. I love him. But, like, to see us going into more of a rebuilding standpoint, that's an amazing opportunity for me, and I got to try to take advantage of that. What did he mean just to you? Did he, like, was he like a mentor, just kind of seeing him go about his business? What did he mean just watching him that first year for you? Um, so the biggest thing I gained from Mikel is a lot of the times he was in a good mood, and I don't feel like he carried anything from day to day. I feel like he reset every day, whether it was a bad day, good day, and came in with a smile on his face, and so that's what I would take from it. You mentioned the rebuild, I guess. Like, what excited, I guess. What do you think about what could happen now with this team, obviously, with obviously these future draft picks, obviously the team that's younger? Like, what do you, what excites you about what this team can go now? Um, you know, just trying to build what we got is my main focus. I don't, the picks, that's, I leave that all to the people who, who decide all that. I just try to do my part, play, play hard, you know, and be enthusiastic about everything that we're doing. So, like I say, opportunities should be fun. You no, know, obviously, Derek, uh, didn't get to play during the second half of the year. He's a little bit of a mystery man to some of the fans coming to the second year. Just what have you seen from him uh, in the summer work? You know, what's the relationship been like with you guys? Um, so Arik is like, you know, he's, he was already behind. So it's like, you know, he's getting to catching up. And so he's learning everything. Uh, but a lot of us are learning because like you say, new staff, things like that. But, you know, I just try to make sure he's up to speed and involved, keep pushing him, even though like, you know, some days, you know, it might be a little, little more for him because he had to go through a lot more to get where he at than a lot of us did uh, as far as rehab and all of that. So it might be a little harder for him to push through some days and, you know, just keeping him motivated, keeping his confidence there. Have when you still been in touch with Jordy since he's been over with Team Canada? Yeah, he texted me yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. What, how different is it, like, when he's here? Because I know he's, like, still watching the practices while he's with them, mm -hmm. right? Like, what, what is different now? Um, so Jordy is very hands-on, but some days, like, you know, he, he kind of will run things and be very involved. Other days he'll kind of let other people run the thing and, you know, kind of like an overseer almost and just correct anything he don't like. But, you know, like I said, I think all the staff are very hands-on and select the spaces. When you're reflecting on how far your game has come, and even last year, two years ago, you were getting ready for your freshman year mm -hmm. at college. Do you feel how much, this is going to sound weird, but like better you are at the sport? And 100%. how do you, how does that feel to like reflect on that? 100%. Going into college, my mindset was to play hard than everybody. That was what I was going for and you know it got me to where the next level but just playing hard and everybody's not enough anymore um you know you got to do that and you got to you got to bring more to the table than that and so you know being able to work on skill aspects of the game and maintain uh the other parts of the game that I I do have and you know being able to utilize intangibles like my wingspan my length things like that um just got to be able to do it and get better at it and so yes uh, I feel a whole lot better than I did then a whole lot stronger everything you're, a, you're kind of you know, a unique player in terms of your skill set and the versatility that you can bring to the table. Are there any you know, NBA guys, either current or in the past, that you've watched a lot or you know, might be trying to model after? No, not really. I look at a lot of different aspects from a lot of people's games. Um, yeah, I admire a lot of different things about different people's games. It's hard for me to say one player I look at. Recently, uh, I watched Siakam. He, he's really good at getting the two feet in the paint and getting his shot. Um, but that's just recently. I, I get a new player. I'm probably watch every two weeks and just try to learn. Is there maybe any, not pressure in the word, but I guess thinking about last summer, kind of how that was like a learning curve for you. Like, is there any sense that this time, you have always said you were confident, but do you feel more confident going into this summer league? Like, hey, that's in the past. Let me see what I can do this year. Are you talking about last summer league? Yeah, like kind of the different, your different attitude going in last summer league versus now. Yeah, I don't care about last summer league no more. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm confident going in. I think we got a good team. Like I say, my mindset is to win. I think last summer league I went in with the wrong mindset of trying to trying to please everybody. And now I just don't care no more. So 
going in to win, have fun. How much is that freeing for you to just kind of have that mindset? Um, I had to realize somebody ain't going to like me anyway, so it is what it is, and I feel great all the time now, so.